were discovered by a talent scout. So, yes. Um, how did that happen? Where did this paper I come know. from? And how did you know You've all of this? Thank the producer, Mike. <laughs> how did you guys find this out? <laughs> this is so random. I know. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I originally actually wanted to be a journalist in the Philippines. So on my first year, fourth year of high school, we had electives for each class. And I was in the journalism class. And we had a field trip. Um, in the broadcasting area of the biggest network in the Philippines. So we were there to really just observe and take notes because we had to write an essay about it after. And honestly, I didn't want to go on the field trip. I felt like it was a waste of time. Um, but I got scouted on that trip. Um, someone approached and asked if I wanted to try acting. And I found that situation very absurd because I, I was very shy as a kid. I was shy growing up, certainly not this talkative. I was very quiet growing up. And I felt like I had classmates who stood out more, you know, were more confident and more pretty. Um, but yeah, I was I was asked that day. And I remember that was on Valentine's Day, February 14, 2007. And I gave them my mom's number because I was sure she would get mad if I gave my own cell phone number. And they called her that evening and she said no. Because I was graduating high school in a month. So she's like, yeah, no, we can't interrupt her studies now. She's she's graduating very, very soon. And I was super disappointed because I did want to try something new. Um, and I graduated on March 31st. And they called her back on April 1. And they said, okay, so she graduated yesterday, right? Can she start now? <laughs> and I I feel like that that pretty much started my whole career. Like the rest is history from there. And it's <laughs> interesting yeah. how a moment can just, you know, change your life. Change your whole life. I know. Um, like like I always tell my friends, I might not have ever been a journalist. Like even if I did take the course, you know, what are the the odds of you ending up on TV and being a news anchor? Like the that's one of the things in the Philippines. So competition is so stiff. So you know, I could have studied, I could have done the best I could in my class, but that was no guarantee I would ever end up on TV as a news anchor. But now, as an actress, I did get to try that experience a few times already. Um, um, and I've tried being a doctor, <laughs> a nurse, a soldier, a nun, a few different, a few different oh, things, um, a lawyer. But yeah, it's 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 funny where life takes you when you don't expect it. And yeah. and you did change your stage name a couple of times. I did. Um, why, why was that? You know? Okay, um, so the guy who discovered me that day in the network, um, there were two of them. One was the son of the CEO of, of the network, and the other one is a guy named Jet Valle. So... My real name is Krista Sullivan, and um, they were sure no one could pronounce my last name in the Philippines. Like, it was too foreign. So they suggested, why not use Jet's last name since he discovered you? So they turned me into Krista Valle, and um, that did work out, but I, it didn't feel like me. Like, mm -hmm. the name just didn't resonate with me. Um, and then I was switching networks. My uncle, I, I have an uncle in the Philippines who's like an action star figure in the Philippines. Like he's an icon back home. And um, he, funnily, I didn't tell him I was getting into acting. Like I didn't want any help from him or, I mean, not to be arrogant or anything, but I didn't want to get a free pass from him. Mm. Also because he had daughters who were starting out as well. Um, he had a TV show that I auditioned for and he actually didn't know I was auditioning for it. And I got in and the network wanted to sign me for a five-year contract. And... That week, another actress whose name was Krista got into a huge scandal in the Philippines. Wow. So they said, okay, maybe not use Krista when we launch you because it, it just has a negative rep right now. And <laughs> this is really stupid, but Twilight was coming out in the Philippines, mm. um, the second Twilight film. I love Twilight. <laughs> right? I love the books. Oh, my God. I was such an emo child, so I listened to the soundtrack all day long. Now it's just funny when I hear it. Um, but yeah, they're like, we should use Bella since you're so pale. Like, um, And I had really dark hair at that time. So they're like, let's use Bella and we'll ask your uncle if we could use his last name, which was Padilla. Because Padilla is like a showbiz name in the Philippines. Right? Like he made his mark. So it's easier for people to understand Bella Padilla than Krista Sullivan. So that's how I got my name, Bella Padilla. Oh, amazing. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>